Carl White of the Marketing Animals Infamy has a book that he published. It's called Loan Officer Champions. It's about 10 top producing loan officers and their secrets to success. Motivation is a hard thing to put into words, but if you want the tactics, they're certainly here. And considering that we're looking at a 33% haircut in all production in the mortgage space across the board at the end of 2020, you might want to start looking for inspiration and some other tactics that can make you pick up some of that lost production. It's a great idea. It's only like six or seven or eight bucks, something like that. Invest in your future, buy the book, read the book. All you have to do is click this banner right over there. So my thinking is this guys, NAR needs to go away. They need to go away because they're sellouts. They've sold their members downriver and for that they need to go away. If you're a NAR member, you can help them go away by quitting. Now you think I'm being too rough? Well, let's take a look at just a little of their inaction or what that inaction just turned into a couple of days ago. So my thinking is NAR's number one primary job above all others, that one job is to protect, advocate, and promote the brand realtor and support and advocate for realtor members. Job not well done, my friend. So in the past, just recently, uh, I don't know, number one, they failed to identify the threat that Zillow represented to its members early in the Zillow process where they carved out a new industry built and all but fully funded off the listings and commissions agents so willingly handed over through multiple listing feeds and their premier agent platform. Remember, every house that has sold in the age of Zillow would have sold without Zillow. Just ended up costing agents a fortune through their advertising platform. Number two, NAR did nothing to stop, question, or ask its members if having Zillow as part of its multiple listing systems or as NAR's members should have unfettered and unquestionable access to agents and broker listings for their being Zillow's corporate benefit and at the expense of NAR members. Number three, they did very little, if anything, to protect the term commission as it's been under attack, undoubtedly, in my opinion, from the likes of Realtor Alternative Real Estate state selling models like Zillow, Offerpad, and Open Door, all of whom charge more than Realtors do, yet use terms other than commission by design. I might add, to distance themselves from the term commission, a term under attack, engaged by Realtors to slander and question the role and the cost of using a Realtor agent. And guys, there's so much more. We can go on all day about this. But here's the big one. NAR has failed to protect the brand Realtor. Case in point, they sold Realtor.com. Why? Why? Why in the hell would you do that? For money? NAR reported total revenue of $242 million in 2017, of which 202 million came from, 83% of the revenue, came from its members, those Realtors. And from their 2018 review, the most recent that I can find, they have 1,359,208 members, and with dues at about 185 bucks a year, NAR made over $250 million in dues alone in 2018. So to sell them downstream for money seems foolish, but so does selling Realtor.com in the first place. So here's how it goes. Realtor.com was sold to Move Incorporated, where NAR lost their seat on the board and their voting rights, which is totally awesome. Move Incorporated is owned 80% by News Corp, who is a media conglomerate that is owned almost fully by the Aussie Rupert Murdoch. The other 20% of Move Incorporated, which owns Realtor.com, is owned by a group called REA, and it's also an Australian real estate and media conglomerate. Nowhere in that ownership is NAR. Nowhere to be found. So they sold the term Realtor to a for-profit group of Australian media companies. Okay, so guess what Realtor.com just did with your namesake, Realtors? They formed a partnership with Open Door. You know, the group that real estate agents, no, Realtors, compete against for the hearts, ears, and minds of those looking to buy and sell homes. That Open Door. And NAR can't do a darn thing about it. Remember, they sold you out. So here's what happens. So, Realtor.com Users of the real estate listing site Realtor.com will now be able to see an offer from iBuyer Open Door in real time while browsing the site. Right around you, Realtors. The two companies announced this on Wednesday. They formed a partnership in July 2020 when Realtor.com launched its seller's marketplace where consumers can learn more information on different home sale options. Hmm. Like working with iBuyers. By the way, this is exactly what they say. Or in a leaseback program. If you're wondering if Realtor.com truly explains the cons of working with iBuyers, the answer is no. Remember, this is a partnership with Realtor.com. The Realtor.com marketplace also provides consumers with access to, get this, alternatives to traditional transactions. That's you, Realtors. 
That's you! This includes EasyKnock, HomeGo, and WeBuyHouses.com. So let's get this straight. NAR encourages its members to promote the fact that you're a realtor, held to a higher standard than a real estate agent, then simultaneously sells the name Realtor via Realtor.com to a private company for money. Though they make hundreds of millions of dollars to realtors, yeah, they sell that to a for-profit conglomerate. That media conglomerate then inks a contract with Open Door and a handful of other companies as alternatives to work working with Realtors, all the while attracting views and getting clicks off the listings from the very Realtors that Realtor.com is undermining. Guys, it doesn't get much thicker than this. This path finds its way all the way back to NAR who you realtors fully fund. You know, it's kind of like giving money and weapons to your enemy before you fight them. Oh wait. This is pretty damning in my book, guys. I, I find this one uh, unforgivable, absolutely unforgivable. It's not an action, it's an inaction. And what's taking place, think about this. Realtor.com is undermining Realtor. Think about that for a second. It's kind of a hard one to swallow, isn't it? Anyways, look to your leadership for guidance. And right now, I think I would try to find something other than the National Association of Realtors. But hey, that's just me. I know this is going to get some people hot and bothered, so let me know where I'm wrong. Let me know down below, and I'll be more than happy to look at all the comments, and we will go ahead and have another follow-up on this show later on this week or next week. Forward this to your friends, forward this to other Realtors and lenders, and let's just keep the dialogue going. With that said, you guys make it a great day.